Good evening, thanks for joining us. A 65 year old Green Bay man known both locally and internationally as Uncle Fester is now in jail facing drug charges. City and County SWAT teams executed a search warrant at a home on the 800 block of Baird Street this morning. According to Brown County Land Records, a man named Stephen Priestler owns this property. He's been booked into the Brown County Jail on three felony drug charges, including the manufacture of amphetamine and maintaining a drug house. As we first showed you live at noon, that house has become the focus of an all day long drug investigation. Brittany Smith joins us now live from the active investigation in a first alert update. Brittany. <laughs> Bill and Cammie, it does remain active here at the scene. Investigators have been here since 6 a.m. this morning, going in and out of the home, wearing hazmat suits. Right now, it just kind of looks like they may be taking a break, regrouping at this moment. But uh, around the scene, it's getting a little bit more active as people are getting off of work. They realize that the street is still closed off. People are walking their dog, and they're really wondering what is going on. So here's what I can tell you. A drug investigation is ongoing right now, and a man known by many as Uncle Fester is in custody. Yeah. I was telling him. Green Bay Alderman Bill Galvin represents this neighborhood. He's had his eye on this house on Baird Street for a long time. This is a good neighborhood. There's good people. Um, it's unfortunate they've had to put up with the shenanigans and all the stuff that's been going on here for so many years. I mean, there's been drug users in and out of that place. There's fights, disturbances. People find drug paraphernalia around the neighborhood from them. Brown County land records show Stephen Priestler owns this house, but Galvin knows him by another name. Recognize that guy? Yeah, that's him. That's Uncle Fester. Someone he knows from his decades on the police force. Those charges don't shock you then? No, not at all. Um, especially considering what I've actually seen him put out on video. I mean, it's it's obvious. You know, this guy is into using drugs and making drugs for others to use. Uncle Fester is also self-proclaimed online, an amateur chemist who has written and published books about making illegal drugs. One of his books is called Home Workshop Explosives. Another is called Silent Death. His claim to fame originally was uh, he wrote out a recipe on how to make ricin and other harmful chemicals, uh, and he had them printed and put out for the public to, to use. Um, they believe his recipe was used uh, in a terrorist attack on a subway system in Japan several years ago. And after that, he became more of a drug uh, dealer, user, um, and he actually did a, like, a, like a podcast on how to make meth, um, showing uh, the person I was interviewing him step by step with all the chemicals and everything on how to do it. Chemicals that are extremely dangerous. Our cameras seeing crews working in hazmat suits on Friday. The State Department of Justice Division of Criminal Investigation is helping local and county authorities with this ongoing drug investigation. He's dangerous. Um, he's, he's highly intelligent. Um, and he understands his rights. He understands the law. And he knows how to play that game to do what he wants to do. And, and so far, until today, get away with it. So I'm just hoping that uh, you know we've, we've done a good job investigating, that we've crossed all our T's, dotted our I's, and we'll see them spending some time in prison. When they first arrived early this morning. Earlier this afternoon, they had quite a bit of assumingly chemicals out in the driveway. Those are no longer there. Again, it seems like they are just possibly wrapping up, kind of doing their last minute, moving around the buckets a little bit, but the investigation is ongoing and I'm told that there is no threat to the community at this time. Reporting live in Green Bay, Brittany Schmidt, Action 2 News.